Hi and welcome to next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking particle effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is we need to create a new composition and I'm just going to go with 1920 by 1080 pixels and I'm just going to roughly have the duration at about 10 seconds. I'm just going to click OK. The first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new solid. So I'm going to call the solid particles and then I'm going to search for a effect called CC particle world. So I'm just going to drag that to my particles solid. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to import a background image. So if you go to file import, you can import anything you like. So I've just imported an image from Unsplash and I'm just going to change the scale to make sure that it fits and there we have it. So now once we have that, we can just untick that for a second. We can go back to our particles. So if I just go to the effect controls on the particles, what we need to do is we need to come over here and we need to take off a few things. The first thing I want to get rid of is the grid. We don't really need that. And we don't really need the horizon and access box. So now once you have that, if you scrub through, you can actually see what's happening here. So now what we want to do is we want to change a few things. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to come down to particle and we're going to change a few things. We're going to change the particle type to a shaded sphere. And then what we are going to do is we are going to change the birth size and we're going to change that to 0.1. We're going to change the depth size to 0.01 .01, and that basically just means the size of the particle when it's born and the depth size means the size of the particle when it goes away. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to get some colors for our particles. Now I'm going to use my background so I'm just going to click on the eyedropper tool and I'm going to pick the brightest part of this background and then I'm going to just maybe pick some other color up there but I'm just going to increase the brightness so pick a more brighter version of that color so now I'm just going to take off the background just so that we can see everything a little bit easier so once we've done that then we need to come over here to the producer and we're going to change a few things in here the first thing that we are going to do is we are just going to get this X value and we are just going to make sure that the particles go off the screen so I've just increased it to about 575. The next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we come over here to our Z radius and just increase this to 1 and you can see what's happening there. Now it's starting to put some of these particles in the foreground as opposed to other ones in the background. And so now if I scrub through that, you can see that it looks like the particles are even being propelled forward. So now that's looking pretty good. So the next thing that we need to do is we just need to move this off the screen. So I'm just going to click on the Y position and then just make sure that the particles are off the screen just like that. Now what we need to do is we need to come over here to physics and we're just going to change the gravity a bit. We're going to bring this down to 0.01 and if you do that you can see that now it's starting to bring uh, the particles down a little bit. So once we've done that now we can move into our longevity and our birth rate. So when we change the birth rate, we're going to change how many of these particles are actually going to appear on our screen. So we're going to bring that down to about 0.1 and we're going to change the longevity to about 4. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you have less particles on your screen and you can see that they're floating around and it's looking pretty cool at the moment. So the next thing that we need to do is still in physics, we need to change the animation type. Now you can change it to whichever one suits your project, but I'm going to change it to this one over here. And so now if I preview that, you can see how the particles are kind of flying down in that downward uh, direction. So moving on, 
the next thing that we need to do is we just need to randomize this a little bit and you can come over here to your extras and then just change and bump up the random seed to about 50. And so now this is just going to give a little bit more randomness to all of these particles on your screen. And I think that's looking pretty cool. You don't want to go too crazy on the particles or the amount of particles that you have. So I think something very subtle will work very well. Now, the other thing is when the project starts, you can see that there's not many particles until about the first second. So what we're going to do is we're just going to shift this over a little bit so that now when it starts, you can see it already starts with a few particles there. And then I'm just going to increase that back on the other side. So now that we have our particles and it's looking pretty cool, we can then add it with the rest of our background. So if I uncheck that eye to bring back the background, now you can see what it looks like with that background. And it just gives that, you know, composition a little bit extra flair, I guess. So the only, the last thing that we need to do is I'm just going to apply some Lumetri color on this um, background. And then I'm just going to pick a creative LUT just to bring down the, I guess the colors and things like that. So now that I've added my LUT and I've also maybe adjusted the curves a little bit just to make it a little bit darker. So now that I've added my LUT, you can see the final result. You can see that I've got my background and it's quite dark and it's done like that on purpose so that I can see the particles and the particles are just kind of floating all over the composition. So anyways guys, that's another quick tutorial on how to add particles to your After Effects compositions. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.